So my book argues that beginnings are moments of power, authority, and agency um, in narratives, and that historically marginalized writers, particularly female writers and writers of color, seize on these beginnings, on these moments in narratives, in order to take hold of that power, agency, and authority for themselves. And so in each chapter, I look at the ways in which a particular writer does that with his or her, well, with her text. You know, what I hope my, my readers will take away from this is really, actually really simple. I hope that they will appreciate the importance of beginnings in narratives, because I think that's something people don't really think about when they're reading. And I also hope that they will understand how complex and how amazing these female writers are. I have always had uh, a passion for 20th century feminist writers. Um, in particular, Toni Morrison. Any student on this campus will tell you that Toni Morrison is my absolute favorite. Um, uh, her narratives combine the most amazing stories the most amazing uh, political messages and the most interesting complexity of form. And that, to me, is the most difficult thing to do in writing and the most interesting thing to read. And all of the writers in this text, all of the writers in my um, study do that. That's why I chose them. I mean, one of the things that I, that I would like to emphasize is how much I love teaching these writers. Um, that for me, so much of what I have to say about them in this book has come from my learning in the classroom and from the students. Together, our study of these novels has helped to facilitate my eventual learning and reading about them in the, um, in the study. And so, you know, it's all integrated for me. Um, it's very hard to separate my scholarship and my teaching from one another. They come together so completely. And going forward, I think all of my researches will, will be like that.